गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स लेट्स रेज्यूम ऑन आवर जर्नी ऑन क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ प्लांट्स प्रीवियसली वी हैव लर्न अबाउट द क्रिप्टोगैम्स एंड देयर डिविजन्स बिफोर मूविंग टू द नेक्स्ट टॉपिक लेट्स चेक इफ यू रिमेंबर दिज रेसिपीज येस दीज आर द रेसिपीज विच वी हैव कुक टू एनहांस आवर फूड हैबिट्स दे इंक्लूड सीरियल्स पल्सेस फ्रूट वेजिटेबल्स रूट वेजिटेबल्स एक्सेट्रा ड्यूरिंग दिस एक्टिविटी यू वेर आस्ट टू ग्रो सम वेजिटेबल्स डिड यू ट्राई इट इफ येस यू मस्ट हैव बरीड सम सीड्स टू ग्रो दिस प्लांट्स एंड ऑब्जर्व द जर्मिनेशन प्रोसेस सो हैव यू थॉट Why these examples were missing in the subkingdom cryptogam? As per the second characteristic mentioned in the cryptogam, they do not bear seed. So, what are the seed-bearing plants called? They are called phanerogams. Let's begin with the characteristics of phanerogams. The phanerogams word is derived from two Greek words, that is. phanero means visible and gams means reproductive organs these plants have well differentiated body structure like root stem leaves etc phanerogams are multicellular eukaryotic and phototrophic plants which prepare their own food with the help of photosynthesis process these plants bear colorful flowers and also have complete vascular system to carry water and food they are called terrestrial plants as they are found on the land we know that the phanerogams plants means the plants with the seeds but the seeds may or may not be covered in the fruit depending upon whether seeds are enclosed in a fruit or not phanerogams are classified into gymnosperms and angiosperms gymnosperms gymnosperms comes from two greek words gymnos means naked and sperms means seeds that is naked seeds these are primitive seed plants which are mostly evergreen perennial and woody the seeds of gymnosperms are developed on the surface of scales and leaves which often grow to form cone or stalk shape all gymnosperms have two types of cone male and female their stems are without branches leaves form a crown they have tap root system examples of gymnosperms are cycas devdar thuja etc the second division of phanerogams is angiosperms like gymnosperms angiosperm is also the combination of two greek words that is angios means cover and sperms means seeds the seeds of the angiosperms are found in flower which further help in reproduction this make up the majority of plants on the earth the seeds develop inside the plant organ and form fruit hence they are also known as flowering plants on the basis of division of seed the angiosperms are further divided into two groups that is dicotyledonous plants means seed can be divided into two equal parts and monocotyledonous plants whose seeds cannot be divided into two equal parts let's learn more characteristics of 
dicotyledonous plants and monocotyledonous plants the seeds of dicotyledonous plants have two cotyledons the seeds of monocotyledonous plants have single cotyledon dicotyledonous plants have tap root system monocotyledonous plants have fibrous root system the stem of dicotyledonous plants are strong and hard the stem of monocotyledonous plants are hollow false and disk like the leaf venation of dicotyledonous plants is reticulate the leaf venation of monocotyledonous plants is parallel the petals of dicotyledonous flowers are in multiples of 4 or 5 the petals of monocotyledonous flowers are in multiples of 3 examples of dicotyledonous plants are grapes sunflower tomatoes etc examples of monocotyledonous plants are bananas sugarcane lilies etc with this point we have come to the end of this chapter we have learned the following points kingdom plantae is divided into two sub kingdom that is cryptogams and phanerogams the cryptogams are further divided into three divisions thallophyta bryophyta and pteridophyta phanerogams are divided into two divisions gymnosperms and angiosperms angiosperms are divided into two groups dicotyledon and monocotyledon thank you students see you soon with a new topic